ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today we have Lake Underwood in his 37 e-production speedster. And right next to it, you have a beautiful 993 Turbo, the kills bugs fast car. And of course, you can't forget this beautiful 964 with the style 90 wheels. What an appropriate sighting and pairing to see these cars placed together. But the one car that really gets my attention, aside from this beautiful blue 993, is this dark blue metallic 993 that is the exact specification of my car. And I am actually on the street, but it's okay. But the cool thing about this car is the attention to detail. The leveling of detail is impeccable. The one thing that this car has is the blah punked SQR radio. It was the radio that I did not opt for because I wanted the Porsche Classic radio, but this looks a little bit more period correct. And mine is the modernized version, but I love the Brumos Porsche, attention to detail, the twin grille that you see in the Carrera S, just a beautiful car overall. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm at Sunday's Motor Cafe and I'm surrounded by some amazing cars. This is another example of an amazing car. The car that you have in front of you right here is the matching car to that 993, but it's a got a hue of purple and then, oh, that GT3 RS looks amazing. Nice. That Toronado looks incredible. Jay Leno has one of these, one of the best front wheel drive cars ever made. The Taycan is one of the coolest cars. I think this is a four because this has the smaller wheels. It's debadged, which I think is a great choice because I do that to all my cars. But this is a wonderful car for a daily commute. And guess what? It's electric. Another car that has really caught my attention is this beautiful Porsche 911 SC with the beautiful BBS rims. These BBS rims are period correct. Just a beautiful, just a beautiful wheel overall and the gold tone matches the beige interior. And it's got the beautiful wood knob, just like in my personal Porsche 911. Gray car overall, it's got the bumperettes. It stanced perfectly. So in front of the chiffon white Porsche 911 SC, a car that I'm really enjoying is this race prepped 964 with the European delivery stickers and license plate and it's got the hood pins to keep the engine down when it's going at speed. I think one of the unexpected surprises that I found when I came to Sunday's Motor Cafe was to see all these beautiful BMWs behind me, including mine. <laughs> I think a gathering of the M cars is definitely appropriate and definitely fitting, and the fact that I parked my car right over here just shows the evolution of BMW over the course of time. And these cars are done in a beautiful blue. And blue is one of my favorite automotive colors. But I think because my car is a graphite color, it's definitely appropriate. It's got a Teutonic feeling for the period. And it sort of complements the entire design and the aesthetic of that vehicle for that particular period in time. The blues would have been a little bit more muted, a little bit more subdued, and these cars are a little bit louder. They're a little bit more, they cause a little bit more ruckus. It's definitely appropriate, it's definitely fitting because these cars are aggressive, they're fast, and they're sleek, and they're very stylish. I definitely love this roundel uh, that is honoring the anniversary of BMW over its lengthy history in motorsports. And it honors, of course, the competition. So tell me what you guys think. Should I do gold wheels like the HRE wheels on this matted graphite finish BMW? And would gold wheels look good on my car? Leave it in the comments below. For me, I particularly like the sizing of this BMW because it's a little bit, well, it's actually around the same size as my particular BMW. It's the same size as an E28. And if I look at a modern 5 Series, they are particularly massive. This is like the size of a 7 Series from the same period from when my car was born. Actually, a 733i is pretty much the same size as a, as a modern M3. But I definitely love 
the hidden intakes behind the twin grills. It's a cool car. It is a modern luxury cruiser. I'm not sure how great it will do on a track because of its weight and its sizing. That's what Porsches are for. But for me, I enjoy BMWs because of their because of their comfortability. And I really like the smaller ones. The evolution of a brand can be seen and is completely evident with the 5 Series that started with the E28 and it eventually and gradually moved in a new direction. The 5 Series has grown, but I still love the smallness of this car. And here is Dewey with the tinted windows in his 996 Turbo. There he is. So right now I'm sitting in the cockpit of a beautiful brand new Corvette. And I have to say that the fit and finish with the stitching, the Bose infotainment system, super high quality. The value you get for this car and the seats are insane. Such a fun car. And it's definitely driver focused. One of the coolest cars that you can get here at Sunday's Motor Cafe. Amazing. And it sounds incredible. Right now it's idling. Definitely a fun car. So I want to thank you for watching. Leave it in the comments below. Should I get one of these? I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.